Welcome back to Pops and Pylons. Let's play some more European Universalis 4. We're playing as Genoa. We're going for our custom achievements on this competition. We have to take all of India, which we can finally see over here, while keeping Genoa the most powerful trader in the world, which at 211 ducats it is. How severe doing? 50 ducats now. Quite the rise, but still a joke. <laughs> uh, we're about to declare war on the Austrians, I think. And I do want my troops over first, though, because I'm kind of afraid is a strong word. But it's possible that we might not have the nearest superiority. You might think that that's really funny, considering that we have 141 ships going around here and then a bunch of extra ships. But most of our ships are light ships because I'm a glutton for trade. And uh, your ships aren't light ships, they are not trading, you're not making you money. So we spent essentially all our force limit on trade. Hmm. Speaking of force limit, do I take mill tech ahead of time? It's a very good tech, it makes our artillery nutty. And I don't want to do it at war because of the morale hit. Yeah, let's take the military now. In August of the year, it's, it's awful, I know. And I'll get my chamber demi cannons out. I try to not take attrition over here. And then that should help. I'm also going to cap on Atman, but I don't think I want to spend the admin ahead of time there's no need really so let's put a few clicks of development into somewhere uh, not core making no so pep price put into co done okay my troops are in position they have no morale i should have done this a tiny bit earlier of course wouldn't have cost us any extra and uh we'd have full morale but i think we're ready to go we'll take the austrians a bit of time to get to places my poor friends are gonna have some morale issues in the beginning because they're all drilling. But hey, let's declare. I do declare that I want the Commonwealth and France to help me. And we're going for the reconquest of something close to here. Kosovo, I suppose. Ah, uh, that's more. Let's quickly check this. Okay, let's do all red. Sure. Just so we can get taking war score as quickly as possible. Reconquest of all red. Good. It's gonna be a big war. But you know. Numbers are on our side. Go. Probably forgot something very important. But hey, now I want you to rush Cruce. I want you folks to start taking stuff. You're gonna stay there because there's gonna be rebels. You just might as well try to quickly crush the Montferrate. Uh, how odd! <laughs> Why would they leave? Oh, that's the Montferrate, that's Montour. Why would Montferrat leave, leave our trade league there? I don't understand either. Do I want to siege Dalman too? I don't think so. I think I want to make a beeline for killing the paper man. Oh, the horde now joins the... No, that's slightly... There isn't anybody big left to coalition me, right? I mean, clearly they're coalitioning me now because they see the numbers. Oh, that's a stack wipe. Um, that's some naval combat, which we won. Stack wipe on those papal armies. More papal armies that are going to die there. Awesome. Um, right, so the reason the Great Horde started the coalition there is that I have a lot of enemies right now and the relevant, uh, the respective. What's the word? There's a word. I'm just gonna believe me. <laughs> the numbers don't look, uh, they look a lot better for them now. 
but I don't see how they could have a proper coalition war against me right now. Can I get these Austrians? I can. Let's hope they don't have friends around. Nope. Juicy. Juicy indeed. I do love me a stack wipe. It's very... Ooh, speaking of stack wipes. Let's allow you folks to lock in there. And you did, and I go and wipe you. Oh, they didn't get wiped. Oh, it's because of the two-to-one thing that I didn't know existed. Um... I was taught about this in the comments recently. That apparently when you uh, have the no morale within 12 days, you only get a stack wipe if the enemy has... Well, if you have 2 to 1 numbers in them. Which does seem to be the case here. Yeah, I mean, we still got them on the run and all. But I really wanted to stack wipe though. I didn't get it. On the other hand, where are they going to run now? Where are you going to run to, Cinnamon? Uh, let's go and grab Rome. Let's also grab our Bamble Navy. Technical term. And uh, go ahead and medic those people. French boats also getting medic. I mean, <laughs> what are you thinking, friends? Putting your boats out against the Brits. No guy joining that coalition that... I assume it's not gonna happen. Don't think there's anybody available for a good coalition war on me, is there? Am I forgetting something? Wait, how, how did I move you out? I meant for you folks to be in Ragusa. Uh, maybe I don't. Wait, you're rebel hunting and you're sieging down this place? Uh, thank you, I guess? What? Why would... <laughs> huh? I mean, I suppose an Austrian is kind of rebel, but I don't understand. Let's try getting all those places um, before the Commonwealth does. It's a bit risky to spread out, of course. I should really not have my 33,000 mercenaries back here just to siege down a single place. Yeah, let's get them in to the north. Kosovo occupied by me. Best person to occupy a place. Now it's kind of possible that somebody will try to do a support liberty on one of my rebellious subjects. The reason my subjects are rebellious is that I forced their religion. <laughs> Did feel right though. Oh, you know what also feels right? Trying to eat those people. If I'm allowed to. And the Guardia Corsa does seem to be the people to do that. Ah, but I can't. Okay. Uh, we're at war. Yeah, well, then why do you join that war? Um, these 1.2k are a bit threatened there. Yeah, I guess we just run with you, right? Uh, I guess we run like this, and if they... Oh, no, we can't. Oh, we can. Wait. Okay. Well, this seems fine. Um, if they do decide to attack me in Perugia, yeah, and then we send the big boys, the big guns, that'll be good. Commonwealth coming from there, at least providing some distraction. Does all seem quite nice. Do I need to make any more claims on people? Can't no, I can claim over here, so I could claim like Kizil Zoo, but that's a bit of a joke. Don't really need to claim to the horde, although Astrakhan is not the most irrelevant note, and I do want Sarai. I feel like I've made so many claims on the horde before. Never took anything. Well, except for my niche, I guess. Let's build some claims. If they do want to do that coalition war, then that's, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they can feel free to do so. 
Uh, what's this? Naval battle. A bunch of Austrian galleys against a bunch of Commonwealth unit transports. Not the best choice, but I don't want to move my my combat navy here. They're busy blockading Rome. And we might have to go and uh, support them in a minute here. Because once we take Rome, the Papal Navy is going to come out. It's possible we can piece out the Pape. The Pape, yes. <laughs> uh, the Pope, once we take Rome. Which would be good enough. But maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, that's just a dumb battle to take. Why are you so stupid, AI? This is a dumb attrition to take. Why are you so stupid, me? Go Kotor Herzegovina. All right, because these guys are rebel hunting, quote unquote. Yeah, you go back home, please. <laughs> Why would they go there? I mean, what's the logic? Hmm. Odd. Now, how many people in the empire are we actually fighting? Eh, it's fine. I can't believe the French are still trying to fight the Brits at sea. Although at least here they brought some heavies. And over here the English brought the heavies. Hmm. It's an age-old battle and the French have never won that one. <laughs> I think. Is there a historic defeat of the British Navy by the French? I don't know of any, but that's... I mean. I don't know, historian. Not even a fan of history, if you get that reference. I mean, I'm a bit of a fan of history, but not that kind of fan. Um, you should definitely be running Defensive Indus Edict. Uh, you should also have a better fort. I didn't upgrade my home forts here, did I? No. That's something we need to fix ASAP once we... Um, Get out of this war. I don't like having my home territory sieged down like this. For obvious reasons. Now keep looking over there, but there's really nothing interesting. There's Rome. Alright. Can I peace out the Pope man before they fight my boats? I can. So I will. I just want them out here. Reduce enemy numbers as quickly as possible. We can't get trade power, which would be obviously nice, but... Is there any land I really want? I mean Rome. But we're not going to take Rome as a non co belligerent. Nah. Nah, let's not agree too much here. Let's take this in ducats. And that'll be fine. Media for themselves. Good. Get out, Mr. Portman. So now my boats are free to rain havoc. And or I'll run from the Habsburgian freaking navy. Uh, I think they should run from me, honestly. If they're somewhat smart. Let's group up our troops and try to scare off some attackers over here. This is all looking fine, you're looking fine, you're looking a bit more than fine. This is Serbia doing the thing. I guess I start the siege of the siege? The siege of split. And Belgrade. Sure. Makuria joining that scary, scary coalition. That would be such a funny coalition war to fire. I mean, I don't want it right now for what I think is obvious reasons, but it would be very funny. <laughs> um, how do we feel about this? I actually can't really attack the Lanshutians here, can I? 
So instead, we're gonna go and scare these folks out of Milan. Try to not meet that Austrian, Austrian 40 stack there. And then we might even end up at a point where we have to um, ship over some more troops to throw Lansuit and friends out of my land. Hot chocolate. Hmm. Could go for some hot chocolate. And GL, yeah, you'd better not run. Fools. Uh, sure not suffer a fool to live. Now, we should be able to take tech, right? Yes. Maritime law, sure. New law. And a mill. Might as well go ahead and build some mills. Because mills are very, very good. Yup. Sure, I could be building forts. Uh, I did want to build forts down here. Let's just do that now. Uh, I did build the one, right? But I wanted another one. Before I forget again. There. And then, and then, and then. I think I'll actually build over some troops. Do you have enough people around here to deal with the unrest or with the potential rebellion in Dalmatia? I think I do. I think I'll get you to Ragusa and then try to ship you over to this place. That's more Austrians though. I don't like that very much. Not very much at all. Who's sitting here? Austria and Landshut, and that's it. Landshut is relatively large. I mean, they're not large, large. But they're too large to just sit on their capital and siege piece them out like that. <sighs> so I might actually have to amass a bit of an army here. If I have to do that, I might as well go for Montferrat right now. Because it will take me some time to get the troops over there. Unless I'm interested in higher... I mean, interested, yes. Hiring some more mercs. We had 4% professionalism. If we do want to hire mercs, I should buy a general and then hire mercs after um, slacking recruitment standards. We can, we can afford to go over for us. We're not insanely rich on money right now. I mean, yes, we're still making 180 ducats. Even though we're paying 100 ducats for our advisors and 54 forts and 84 army. But still, going over force limit is quite expensive and we'll be going over force limit by quite a bunch. I don't think we need to do this. I think I can bring some people from Austria to fight the Austrians. Makes sense in my book. Who do we bring? Probably the guys from Split. And then the guys from Ragusa. Uh, no, it's unsure whether that's enough because they're already at 0% there. We did win split very quickly, which means the Austrian Navy is going to come out. Probably means I want my cocks around here, don't I? Just to add some extra support. That naval battle. Lost excommunication against France, that's fine. Didn't want that in the first place. You folks keep going with the carpet sieging. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose Firenze. They got a wall breach there. I don't think I'll be able to amass troops quickly enough. We killed six galleys at the cost of one. It's okay. I didn't capture any boats though. It's not great. Mm, let's get you repaired. In Ragusa. 
And then have you guys go into split. Yeah, this is this is doomed. It's fine, it's not a very important place. Ferrara. Did I say Firenze before? I've meant Ferrara. If I did say Firenze. You get over there. Yeah, there goes Ferrara. It's fine. Attach to these boats. Get yourself into Pisa, maybe? To be somewhat mindful, but these Austrians seem to be leaving. So I like my Austrians. Well, if I can't have them dead, I like them leaving. I actually had an Austrian roommate for quite a while. Or flatmate. She was nice. <laughs> So I don't hit all Austrians. Just these. Habsburgian fools. We're gonna crush my commonwealthy friends. Who are showing their prowess once again. As is France, honestly. And that's what you have allies for, right? For them to disappoint you over and over and over again. Am I gonna be attacked here? I don't think I can be. Hmm, maybe. Shouldn't um, read too much into <laughs> AI for movement. So I have been surprised by it before. Did I get you guys over as well? Probably not. Let's siege down Königsboden. I can't believe we have so little war score. Well, I assume... Well, I suppose we won't be able to piece out the British at all. We haven't done anything to those Germans yet. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of war. A bit of a war. Let's get you north. And... Once we know that those Austrians are far away, I think we can go and um, siege back Ferrara. Obviously the um, flip side of that Austrians are far away coin is Austrians are gonna show up somewhere around here pretty soon. Them's the brakes. I think I might have y'all join. Well, not you, Fudge Nuggets. But I guess now I might as well have you do it too. The fort in Angram is going to take back these places anyway. So there's not really much of a reason to. stay there. Siege it down. Especially now that I randomly gave up the siege. Progress. No, no, I'm not running Optimus Siege Stacks anywhere here. That's gonna have to be fine. Can't really be super arsed. Let's have a quick look at cannon numbers. 11. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm overdoing it a tiny bit over here. I'm willing to accept that proposal. I mean, we can't really do it well, but we might as at least um, detach and not have my own people take the attrition there. When the mercenaries are already more than enough to siege this place down. And I think I'll have you guys go for Ferrara. And then I'll have my war navy take care of blockading Ferrara. Then I might not actually have to boat any more people over. Because the war seems to have moved on from being in my land. Oh, there's though. No, well, that's at least some Austrians. And some running Commonwealthians. Pope once again excommunicating the French, as they do. As they do. Bit of a weird war here. Not a lot of battles. 
At least not ones I'd participate in. <laughs> we have plus four war score from battles, I suppose. Oh, come on, France. Oh, but you are actually still fighting over the channel. That's impressive. Um, wouldn't mind you not getting your captors each down, though. That would be, would be all right if you didn't. Try to grab back Ferrara and maybe then we take Mantua. Seems acceptable. What do I do about this place? Are you still rebellious? You are. That unlawful territory is a bit painful. Hmm. It's almost over in December. Nice. So once that goes away, the unrest will no longer be an issue and we can move those troops out. First thing in the morning. Jaffa is now core. That also is going to help with the unrest. And I think I can make a claim on Persia already, can't I? What do I want to claim on? Something that's not Khorasani core. Sure. We care about much of this. I mean, Ardabil is nice and all. I don't think claiming stuff over here is very helpful, is it? Can I even? No, I can't. Okay. That answers that. Let's take Ardabil as a claim. It's only 9 development, but it's dice. Dice are very good. Against Persia, yes, yes. We want Belgrade, also yes, yes. And then I guess we're gonna go for Akram. Okay, friends, trying. Yeah, calling everybody home, except for those folks who, for some reason, went over to help me with Ferrara. I'm not gonna try to understand the AI. <laughs> But they do confuse me a lot. Hello. I wouldn't mind you not passing there. Okay, we got Morphera. Do I start going north now? You're gonna throw these people out of France. Maybe not with that stack, but in general you should be fine. We do go north. And siege down. I mean, you could also go here, right? See, John Eshtar. Eshtar. I wonder if it's better to go and get these miners out, or to just siege down a bunch of Austrian stuff. And I'm feeling the Austrian stuff. There goes Königsboden. That should be all the forts they have over here in former Hungary, isn't it? Except for this here. Very nice. Let's get you west. Can I go to Unterkärnten? I can, but not in a good way. Let's not do that then. Let's just be close here. I'm gonna have this little stack here. Try to take the rest of the land. That should be alright. He's from Morferrat. Ah, <laughs> oh, land looks so tasty to me. Why does land always look so tasty? If we didn't want to get eaten, it shouldn't have dressed that way, right? <laughs> Stupid thing to say. Um. It's not even that expensive to take. It's only 14 development. How much AE am I gonna am I gonna get? Probably a lot. Yeah. And it doesn't show how much we're putting onto actual people. But right, it's only showing the people who will be in a coalition, which is just all the um, Sunni. 
the um, Muslim people. Muslim. But. Nee, nee, nee. Don't think I'm gonna do this. As much as I wouldn't mind having Montferrat, I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna invest in Austrian land here and that's it. That probably means that I'm better off keeping you occupied as opposed to piecing you out. Probably get more war scope out of um, having control of a capital of a uh, member in the enemy coalition. Then I will get out of um, piecing them out. Gain a bunch of sailors. Yippee that's actually, it's not a huge invasion force, but the French aren't looking too great. <laughs> oh man, friends, how the mighty have fallen. Well, you were never really mighty this campaign. It's still, ooh, Austria getting uh, hey, the jump on some Commonwealthians there. We need to see these days that AI is mostly good for, ah, I should be an edge tile then, right? I shouldn't be. Let's leave. Let's go for something that's a bit more safe. Try to, uh, I don't want to go for price go either. That's so central. Could go for somebody like Rotenburg. I think I'm just too far away from my people. Either way, let's just leave. Wait for more people to come in. Well, France actually doesn't care about their stuff. They just go ham on paper. Wait, paper land? What's this? At war with Provence and France. Breton purge of Provencal heresy. So the Bretons attacked Provence. France came in to defend them. <sighs> France. I can't keep saying it with friends like these. Um, yeah, what you can do with friends like these is put a cut into a video. It's allowed. And uh, I shall, because it's that time of the day. Thank you folks so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, and um, who doesn't like a big war, even if it's against Faith or especially if it's against Faith the Austrians. Um, then please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, if you have anything at all to say to me, then you could do a lot worse than to do that in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you folks next time.